Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends and once again, thanks for stopping by. So in this short video, if you follow this channel, you'll have seen we, we've tested the Technigold vintage motor, we've then tested the Dynatec O1R and today we're testing the Dynatec O2H which was probably Tamiya's hottest vintage motor, I think I'm right in saying, for that era. So this is a 13 turn, so let's just have a quick look at the spec of the motor. Right, so before we start, we made a couple of changes. So when we ran the Technigold and the Dynatec O1R, we had a 21 to tooth pinion in here, um, which was quite high, I felt. Um, so we've gone down to a 17 tooth for this. So it should be a lot more punchier, um, but we're not gonna get the top speed. So it's not gonna be a true sort of comp comparison, but we'll get an idea of what this motor ran like. Um, so I must admit I'm super excited because this is one of the rarer Tamiya motors. So we're running um, unlimited um, brushed electronic speed controller and we're only running NIM batteries, we're not running LiPo's. We're getting it as close to as it was back in the day. So let's get it ripping. Right, let's see what it's got. Let's just um, show things working before. Oh wow. Wow, that's super smooth as well. Tell you what, say we've gone down in pinion size, we have not lo we've not lost a lot of top speed. Do you know the first impressions I've got straight away is the same as I had with the Technigold. It is super smooth. The pinion's made a hell of a difference, it's way more punchy. Not a massive amount of torque though. This is making me want to put the super modified back in it with its pinion. I suppose what we've got to remember is, as I said, this is running in 7.2 NIM. See what acceleration is like off the spot. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, that's definitely, this pinion is way better.
well, <laughs> I am super impressed with that motor. I was super impressed with the Technigold the first time I used that because it was super smooth and going from a, like a 540 in a sport tune, it had a, you know, it was a bit quicker. Um, the O1R, I wasn't impressed with at all, but since then I have rebuilt it and it's going in the um, Terra Scorcher video, so I'm, I'm, that seems to be more responsive. But this O2H for a 13 turn, I mean it's cold out here, don't get me wrong, it's about minus one today. But that motor's not even warm. That is just warm. Speedo, again, is awesome. Speedo's not even warm. The thing that's really amazed me about that, and, and you've got to remember, this is this is period car. This is not modern stuff. That had a fair lick of speed for it from it, and with a 17 tooth pinion. But the thing that has blown me away is with a bog standard 7.2 NIM, and it's only a 2,000 milliamp. That had 10 minutes running time. And this timing is turned full up on this O2H. That's blown me away. That's a hell of a run time for a, for a hot motor like that. Wow. So that has definitely not disappointed. So just before I end this video, I want to tell you, I've got the, um, the Tamiya hot hop-up rotor for the O2H. So as I said, 13 turn standard. I've got a brand new 10 turn that they did um, for the both Dynatex. O1R and O2H, we made a hop up. So the O1R was, um, oh, I'm going to get this wrong. The O1R was a, a 19 turn and they did a 17 turn hop up rotor. 13 turn O2H and they did a 10 turn. So we've got a brand new one. So the next video, we'll whiz the motor out, we'll swap the rotor and then we'll see what kind of performance we get. But that was, it's going to make a hell of a difference. It's going to be way faster really really impressed that's the best vintage motor i've tested so far that didn't disappoint i'll shut up on babbling so once again guys thanks for watching um if you new to this channel if you could please consider liking and subscribing that'd be much appreciated and happy rc guys